Hello and welcome to another video of IELTS reading. For today's reading I have selected from a GT module like the GT reading and while practicing for IELTS for myself I would say I felt like this was some kind of a moderate reading. It was not that hard though it looked really hard but looks could be deceiving right. So this is one of the reading that I have seen students they practice a lot because this reading has all varieties of questions and it looks again I can say it looks a little bit tougher but once you understand the passage it will be really easier for you to do the reading I will provide the link for this reading in the description this is one of the Cambridge readings that I can tell you and once you go through the reading you practice the reading yourself within the time frame you can come back to the video and go through my explanation that would be giving you an overview that why this is this and why this is not this right before we begin the video I have an announcement to make that is I will be evaluating task 2 writing also side by side so I have provided my email address in the community link and there you can send me task 2 just scan after writing and send that by attaching that scanned document better if that's a PDF because images sometimes they can distort the clarity so it would be better if you are taking a picture turning that into a PDF or scanning there are several scanning softwares so if you are using one of those scanning software or scanner softwares you can turn that photo into a PDF and attach that in an email and send that to the email that I have mentioned the plan is I will be taking one of these tasks to writing randomly and I will be evaluating that I'm not sure how that will be done for now the concept is I will be checking that and I will be making a video exactly saying that what was the incorrect ways that was there or if that's a proper correct way of writing like maybe you are one of those students who are getting 7.5 8 bands so that can be an like an example of what it should be and if that has mistake don't be shy to send that because I won't be revealing anybody's name I will be just taking your writing as a sample to show what should be done and what should not be done and who knows whose writing I'm going to check so nobody will know about that that's to be sure about and let's start with the reading today I have selected a GT reading because this reading when I was practicing for my exam was something that I found really tricky that's the word really tricky so if we go through these readings and tricky kind of readings are those that will help you in the examination because there are some patterns in tricky reading if you follow those patterns and you see those patterns getting repeated you will be like a pro in the examination it will be just like oh I know they have used this word so that means it should not be like that like when you're checking a question of yes no not given or true false not given and you see that word that is the tricky word like this 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 but that 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 and it is like you know it is a no answer because you have seen this pattern getting repeated over and over in different readings so this is one of those readings that will be helping you and this reading has been chosen by like a really really huge number of people I have seen because this is one of those Cambridge readings and because it is kind of a tricky practicing this reading is really really helpful for you so let's proceed with that part one your advice to spend 20 minutes on question 1 to 14 
first read the text below and answer questions 1 to 8. Just to mention here, I have seen this reading in total has 41 questions. So don't feel that I'm getting one hour, but it's one question extra. I should be getting five minutes extra. Don't think like that. It is just for practice. So just practice it. It is not going to come in the examination with 41 questions because that used to be some of those readings which has 41 or 42 questions. Those are the odd ones. But again, practicing that is just like you're getting an extra question, an extra thing to learn. So why not? So let's proceed with the passage. Your Mulex Iron. From the passage, if I just scroll like this and at a glance, I would feel this is kind of a manual that has been printed in the passage. Like that's what an idea I'm getting in. Let's see what A says. Filling the reservoir. Your iron is designed to function using tap water. However, it will last longer if you use distilled water. Always unplug the iron before filling the reservoir. Always empty the reservoir after use. So here they are giving you instructions how to drain the water after being used or how to fill the water. And that's what it is about the paragraph. B. Temperature and steam control. Your Mulex iron has two buttons which control the intensity of heat produced by the iron. You can therefore adjust the temperature of the iron and the amount of steam being given off depending upon the type of fabric being ironed. Turn the steam control to the desired intensity. Turn the thermostat control to the desired temperature. So here they are just letting you know what needs to be controlled like with the manual they are giving you some functions like if you need to control the steam and if you need to control the temperature like how much steam do you want that to come out from the iron or what should be the hot or the heat of that iron like how much it should be hot right important if your iron produces droplets of water instead of giving up steam your temperature control is set too low so we know there is certain temperature that is needed for water droplets or liquid water to turn into a gaseous form so that's what it is being said there spray button this button activates a jet cold of water jet of cold water which allows you to iron out any unintentional creases press the button for one second so there is a spray button also with the spray button there will be spray like how whenever you are applying your deodorant or perfume the way it comes out like teeny tiny droplets of water and that will be good so that will be coming out and you know, whenever you have seen people ironing their clothes and they just try to spray some water or splash some droplets of water on the clothes and then they try to iron that. That takes off the creases like whatever you are having as a fold or you are not able to iron that out normally. If you put little droplets of water on that it takes that off real real quick that's kind of a life hack i would say so and they're also letting you know to press the button for one second get that spray and iron okay d pressing button this button activates a super shot of steam which momentarily gives you an additional 40 gram of steam when needed so whenever you're pressing the button it can be this button at the top so whenever you're pressing that button it gives you a super shot of steam like whenever you're cooking something inside a pressure cooker and that pressure cooker is turning the water into steam and then you see the steam coming out so that's how that button will do like it will be releasing the steam and that will give you 40 grams of steam perfect <laughs> important 
do not use this more than five successive times so there is a warning kind of a warning that you should not be using that steam button or the pressing button for steam more than five times maybe it will be draining out all of the liquid so maybe for that reason 40 times 5 is 200 so all of the water might be gone if you are pressing that more than five times maybe e suits etc it is possible to use this iron in a vertical position vertical means if you are using that straight up so vertical think about your vertebra column that's your spinal cord that's how it looks when we are talking about vertical of course you do know vertical because you guys do task one like if you have done for an academic student they will know vertical more and if you have done academic IELTS you will know what is vertical what is horizontal perfect so it is possible to use this iron in a vertical position so that you can remove creases from clothes on cloth hangers or from curtains so whenever you are putting your clothes in a hanger it is like just using the steam of the iron that you try to iron that and take that creases off so we have seen people doing that with a steam iron and that's really easier for people to iron the clothes while hanging them from somewhere Turning the thermostat control and the steam button to maximum. Hold the iron in a vertical position close to the fabric but without touching it. Yeah, because that cloth needs the steam. They don't need any contact of that metallic plate with that cloth. You just need hot, hot steam on the cloth and that will be straightening things out. Hold down the pressuring button for a maximum of one second. The steam produced is not always visible but is still able to remove creases so again it's part of a manual and it is letting you know how to use that for ironing your vertically hanged clothes hold the iron at a sufficient distance from silk wool to avoid all risk of scorching so scorching yes you don't want your clothes to be torn or ripped because if that's too much heat it won't be able to tolerate that and it might get ripped off so you don't want that to happen keep the iron at a distance do not attempt to remove creases from an item of clothing that is being worn always use a cloth hanger so that's funny because they are letting you know that do not wear your cloth and use that steam iron to iron while you are wearing the cloth and nobody should do that right F auto clean in order that your iron does not become furred up so again you want to clean that iron and how you should be doing so again part of manual Molex have integrated an auto clean system and we advise you to use it very regularly one to two times per month so that's how you should be using that feature and now the steps to do that turn the steam control to the off position fill the reservoir and turn the thermostat control to maximum as soon as the indicator light goes out unplug the iron holding it over the sink turn the steam control to auto clean any calcium deposits will be washed out by the steam continue the procedure until the reservoir is empty so they are just giving you the steps how to clean that iron so that was the whole part once first part is all about and then you will find some questions and you can go ahead and if you haven't really done the question you can pause the video because I will be explaining the next part also so you can pause the video and in the next part I will be explaining for the next set of question what the reading passage is all about so this is the second part of the first passage like I can say it is part one but the next portion of part one this is about classic tours 
coach break information. So this is just like a pamphlet when you are looking like at the first glance or at the first look. It just feels like a pamphlet whenever you go for traveling, you are on an excursion and you are staying somewhere or you are just traveling with your friends, your family, you will find some kind of brochures that is handed over. Even whenever you are going to a traveling agent, you will find some brochures of places that are tourist attractions in your city, in your country or wherever you are going to plan your trip. So these kind of brochures or pamphlets are the most common things that we see in our daily life. And whenever you get that, just try to read thoroughly and see if you can relate to something in reading also. Because reading is everywhere, I would say. The passage, it can be taken from an article, a journal, um, like newspaper, passage from a book, a lecture, anything like that. So every source of information that you are getting can come to your IELTS exam can come so there is a possibility with that even the pamphlets try to read that try to think okay so i have seen this 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 is there anything that is really unique to this pamphlet or no because the like how much you will be reading will be also based on how much or how many things you have seen if you have seen things like that it is easier to grasp if you haven't it takes time but yeah you can always always learn new things so it's all good and let's start with the reading explanation luggage we ask you to keep luggage down to one medium-sized suitcase per person but a small hold all can also be taken on board the coach. So again, about the luggage, it is said that we ask you to keep a luggage. That is only one suitcase allowed, something like that. And that's to like medium sized suitcase. But you can carry one on the board. Like you can carry one when you are traveling. And just think like you are going in a flight. You are having one bag in the luggage section, like the cargo, and another one while you are sitting in your seat, you can carry one, right? So that's what they are trying to say here also. So kind of two luggages, one will be in the luggage section, another you can just carry on with you. Seat allocation requests for particular seats can be made on most coach breaks when booking. But since allocations are made on a first-come, first-served basis, early booking is advisable. So again, they are saying that if you are requesting which seat you want to take, this can be done during booking, but it is a first-come, first-served basis. So if I am booking this classic tours coach break, so if I'm booking this today, and I'm saying that, okay, I will need seat 11. Okay, 11 is booked for me. Next day, if my sister, for example, she recalls the same agent or same touring guides and they, she's like, I need seat 11. They will be, yes, we know that you can select your seat, but unfortunately that is already taken by somebody. So if you can select from this, 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 this seat numbers, you can go on and we can take that like whatever seat you are selecting we can put that in your ticket so that's what these two or this one line is trying to say when bookings are made with us you will be offered the best seats that are available on the coach at that time so again whenever you are booking if there is a window seat available and you are just booking without knowing it they will be letting you know that you know there is a window seat do you want that within the same price right so that's what they're telling you in the seat allocation travel documents when you have paid your deposit we will send you 
all the necessary documents and labels so that you receive them in good time before the coach break departure date. Certain documents, for example, air or boat tickets may have to be retained and your driver or courier will then issue them to you at the relevant point. So the first line says that when you have paid your deposit, like when you have paid in advance or when you have paid, they will be sending all the necessary documents, some kind of confirmation emails now we receive emails but earlier it was confirmation mails or confirmation papers and labels that the tags that you are going to this coach you are taking the trip on this date something like that so that you receive them in good time so they will be sending that in advance before the coach break departure date so they will be sending those in advance but certain documents like air or boat tickets may be kept with your driver or courier and when you are reaching certain point for example you are traveling from a city for example if i talk about india you are traveling from punjab and you are reaching new delhi so you are getting your tickets from your driver or courier at new delhi but not in Punjab at your house. It is similar to the boarding passes that you get while you are boarding the flight. So something like that if you think. Special diets. If you require a special diet, you must inform us at the time of booking with a copy of the diet. So if you are a vegan, if you are gluten allergic, if you are lactose intolerant, all those falls in this line. So you can request them or you can inform them that you are allergic to this, you are intolerant to this, or you are vegan, you are a vegetarian, anything like that, you are allergic to nuts and whatnot. This will be notified to the hotel or hotels on your coach break. So if you are Ha, on a special diet, they will be informing the same to the hotel or hotels whenever you're staying with them so that the hotel and the cooks in the hotel, they can take care of your diet. But on sudden coach breaks, the hotel used our tourist class and whilst offering value for money within the price range, they may not have the full facilities to cope with special diets. But there is a possibility that the hotels that are being used are tourist class, like not the hotel in which you can let them know that this, this, this diet should be followed and they will be following that. And yeah, tourist class is value for money for sure. It is within the budget. I would not say cheap, but it is affordable for most of the people. So while that is the positive thing but that food and special diet might not be the like the hotel staff might not be able to provide that facility that's what this line is trying to say any extra costs incurred must be paid to the hotel by yourself before departure from the hotel so if you break a TV, for example, you would be paying for that. That is not included in your ticket or any other extra cost. Maybe you ordered food, extra food, anything. And while you are leaving the hotel, you should be paying the cost for that. They will be charging you for that. Accommodation. Many of our coach breaks now include within the price accommodation with private facilities, and this will be indicated on the coach break page. So whatever accommodation is there will be included in the page or the brochure of that particular coach break. Other coach breaks have limited number of rooms with private facilities, which subject to availability can be reserved and guaranteed at the time of booking. So private facilities can be washrooms like private facilities that is for your purpose like private purpose only and most of those coach breaks they have their own washrooms and other have a limited number of rooms with 
those washrooms. So not all of those are having that, right? And that is also subject to availability. So if you're booking, it might be the last seat on a coach break, having a washroom or next day your sister is booking in, she might not get the coach break with a washroom. So that's the chance that that this kind of things can happen. That's what they're trying to say. The supplementary charge shown in the price panel will be added to your account. So again, supplementary means additional. So if there is additional charge that is shown in the price panel for certain facility, it will be added to your account when you are booking that. So there are sometimes you can see like in now on websites we can see that that they put asterisk that is the star they put the asterisk and they also put tiny tiny lines like teeny tiny lines at the end of the page are saying if you are adding this is this 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 and conditions apply and so on so that's how they are trying to say that the supplementary charge for this will be added to your account like think it in that way <laughs> On any coach break, there are only a limited number of single rooms. So yeah, about what kind of room or what kind of like arrangement you can do. There are limited number of single rooms. When a single room is available, it may be subject to a supplementary charge and this will be shown on the brochure page. So if a single room is available, like whenever somebody is canceling a booking for that single room, Single rooms can be in high demand and that's the reason there is an additional charge and that is also displayed in the brochure page. Entertainment. Some sort, like sorry, some of our hotels arrange additional entertainment which could include music, dancing, film shows, etc. So the hotels can arrange, like they might arrange some of these additional entertainment facilities. The nature and frequency, like what it will be and when and how many of those shows will be. Of the entertainment presented at the discretion of the hotel. So it depends on the hotel, what kind of show they will do or how many shows a week they will do. That's on the hotel's end and therefore not guaranteed. So yeah, it is not guaranteed. It is up to the hotel and could be withdrawn if there is a lack of demand or insufficient numbers in hotel even that can be cancelled withdrawn if there is lack of demand so maybe 50 people are staying there and only five demanded for a film or something like that so the hotel would not be doing that because if only five people are watching that's not something they would be spending their resources on so yeah and yeah that's the thing they are trying to say in this passage so next you will see all the questions that you can practice and the answers for the first set like 1 to 14 is provided in the description so you can check those two and once you are done or you have already done if you have already done you can just continue watching the video and if you haven't done that and you want to listen to the explanation and then try to practice so you can go ahead put the video to a pause and after solving that you can come back and listen to the explanation of this video and if you're practicing like that like you're just practicing 1 to 14 questions try to divide by like that time like that only because 1 to 14 question is just one third part of your total reading so if you're trying to do it like that just take maybe 20 minutes or lesser than that because for GT readings it should not be 20 minutes that you are spending on the first passage like the part one which is having two sections so you should not be spending 20 minutes on that because the academic section sometimes like the last part sometimes like it is a real lengthy so that's the reason if you're spending a whole lot of time on the first part or the second part 
at the end it becomes difficult for you and you rush and whenever you're rushing you're making mistakes so it's better to spend 15 minutes or one minute per question that's how you can do but again it's totally on your end how you are doing that you might be doing that in a perfect and an efficient way so you can go ahead and practice and then come back resume the video and check that out or if you have already done that then let's see what the answers and how are you getting those answers okay so let's begin with the answers and if you have already done the reading and you have checked how you're doing that let's see why you got some answers wrong or maybe you got that right but have no idea let's see which answer is for which question and why okay so for question one to four we can see match the pictures below to the appropriate section in the instruction so in the manual that we had for the mulek sign it is just asking us to match the picture with the passages like a to f that was there write the correct letter a to f in the boxes one to four on your answer sheet so which picture belongs to which description with this reading so let's go back the first picture that you see you can see somebody is holding the iron and pressing something and the steam is also gushing out when they are pressing the button so they have pressed that button steam is coming out and they are holding the iron the second picture if you see it is kind of a sink that you have a kitchen sink and it looks similar to, to that and they are trying to drain out the liquid that's the water out of the iron the third picture is they are pressing a button and they are having that spray coming out of that iron the fourth one is they are holding the iron vertically and they are trying to let the steam come out and they are holding that at a distance so they are trying to steam iron that cloth so that's what we can figure it out from the pictures so let's go back to the passage and see what will be the exact passage or A to F paragraphs for the question 1 so for question 1 you can see that when they are pressing the button some kind of steam is coming out from this end right so it will be the answer D why because you can see this button so they were pressing a button like that over here this button activates a super shot of steam and in the question we saw they are holding that button and shot of steam is only coming out of the iron so that's the reason the first question will be paragraph D and the lines will be found all along here let's go to the second question so it is like draining the water out let's go back to the passage and see where it has been said about draining that out para a was about filling the reservoir and there they also said about emptying the reservoir right so let's see in para a always empty the reservoir after use so looks like this is our reason for answer two going back to the third question we can see that they are pressing a button and kind of a spray is coming out so let's go back to the para and moving in there we had the spray button and for the spray button it said that this button activates a jet cold jet of cold water which allows you to okay my selection yeah there which allows you to iron out any unintentional creases so that's the reason for question three to be in para c let's go back to the next question 
So this is like vertically ironing the clothes and where did we saw that in the para? We saw that in para E. So in para E they have mentioned it is possible to use this iron in a vertical position so you can remove the creases from coat hangers or from curtains and that's how you are getting the answer because they are holding it exactly vertical in the picture let's move to the next set of questions question five to eight so the question is about answer the following question on the molex iron using no more than three words write your answer in the boxes five to eight on your answer sheet so this is just like three word is the maximum limit you can use one word or two word there can be a bracket but not more than three words and you have seen the answers in the description so let's check why they are so for question five the question is what sort of water are you advised to use we have seen that happening in para a where they say however it will last longer if you use distilled water so that's where we are getting the answer from next question is what factor makes you decide the quantity of steam to use okay and let's go back to the paragraph so for the quantity of steam let's just jump to para b in para b they said that in here you can therefore adjust the temperature of the iron and the amount of steam quantity of steam is amount of steam given off depending upon the type of fabric so you can see the fabric the only type of fabric like you need three answers like sorry three words right so type of fabric you can say fabric the fabric anything like that so this will be the answer for your sixth question let's go to the seventh one what should you do if your iron starts to drip water and we have read that somewhere that we recall right now let's go back to the passage then so about dripping we have read that somewhere in para b that if your iron produces droplets of water instead of giving up steam your temperature control is set to low so the question was what should you do if your iron starts to drip water it is not asking you what is the reason for the iron to give you that dripping water thingy but it is just asking you what should you do so you should not be writing and I have seen this mistake happening with most of the students who did not get the question correctly or read the para correctly but if you're reading the question correctly it is just like the opposite that you should be writing so in here you can see your temperature control is set too low what you should be doing you would be turning up the temperature or you would be increasing the temperature anything like that or you can just see sometimes it is like I should be writing exactly what is in the reading passage I should not be making things of my own I had that issue so I used to just look for the opposite words in the reading passage so here you can see temperature control is set to low for low let's see high or anything like that in there you can see turn turn the thermostat so turn and then you can see temperature so let's take temperature and for this one sorry I did the boo-boo yeah and for this one we can see it is low so just do it like the opposite so you can say turn up the temperature or increase the temperature as the answer because you are getting turn 
the temperature like that in the passage. So you can totally use that. Let's move to the next question. What could damage your iron if you do not clean it? So we have read about that furring up. We have read about the word furred up. So let's see in the passage where we will be getting that option. So in F para, you can see in order that your iron does not become furred up. So cleaning your iron also, that's the thing. So the question was, what could damage your iron if you do not clean it? What can cause this furred up in the iron? So, in the last third line, you can see any calcium deposits will be washed out by the steam. So, this is how you are cleaning that. And in here, it says, in order, you don't want that to be furred up, you should be doing these steps. These steps for cleaning what? For cleaning the calcium deposit. And what was the question? What could damage your iron if you do not clean it? So we are cleaning calcium deposits from that iron so that our iron is staying in the top notch quality. So that's the last question of that reading passage. Let's move on to the next one. So for the next set of questions that we can see here, it is the MCQ or the multiple choice questions and just to be on the safe side what I do during my exam or what I did during my exam was whenever I went through the question I never checked the options in the beginning before reading the passage once I read the passage I came back and I tried to see which option is not at all matching with the paragraph that I just read and I tried to eliminate that. If that worked, like, yeah, that is totally opposite of what the para is saying, so elimination is good. If you see that it is somewhat matching with everything else, then try to read the para once again because that will be giving you a different point of view when you are just reading the question going to the passage coming back going through the options trying to see if something is eliminated and then going back to the passage again that's how you are trying to check that for the second time after analyzing the question though you don't get that much time for all the steps that I said but in the examination this happens naturally trust me and it will be happening in a moment like maybe in one minute you will be doing all the steps that I just said because during the exam you know that clock tick tock tick tock is going on and you have to give the best shot so at that time our brain does that thing so it is nothing to worry about so for now let's see what the question 9 says if you want to sit at the front of the coach a. Ask when you get on the coach. B. Arrive on the departure date. C. Book your seat well in advance. D. Avoid traveling at peak times. Let's go back to the passage. Here we can see that they are talking about the seat in the second para where they are saying about seat allocation in here. And what was the question then? If you want to sit in the front of the coach, front of the coach. So do we see anything that is said about the front of the coach? It is only saying requests for particular seats can be made on most coach breaks when booking. So particular seats that can be front because front is just an example of a particular seat. Next, they are saying that it is on the first come first serve basis because we can book, but if somebody books that before, then sorry, we won't be able to accommodate that. So let's go back to the question and see what are the options. If you want to sit at the front of the coach, ask when you get on the coach. Nope, it does not say anything, so eliminate it. B, arrive early on the departure date. It is not like that once you book the ticket. Even if you arrive late, you will get your seat. C. Book your seat well in advance. That's what something the para says. First come, first serve basis. Advance, first come, first serve. That's what they mean. And D. Avoid traveling at peak times. 
they never said that even if you are traveling in the peak times you will be having your own seat in the bus so that doesn't matter so the option for question 9 will be C and the reason for that is in the para we can see that they are talking about first come first serve basis which totally matches with the option given in C and let's move on to the next question your air tickets and then the option comes so your air tickets a will be sent to your departure point b must be collected before leaving c you will be enclosed with other sorry will be enclosed with other documents d may be held by your coach driver let's see which para talks about the air tickets so travel documents the next para and what is said in the travel documents i can see air or boat tickets in this part so certain documents for example air or boat tickets may have to be retained and your driver or courier will then issue them to your relevant point let's go back to the questions your air tickets will be sent to your departure point it did not say about departure point though it said about a relevant point but that was not departure point so we should not be using that departure point thing and thinking okay they said something about a point and selecting a because a is not the answer for b must be collected before leaving and I don't see the para saying that thing because there is nothing said it should be collected they say something that they would be sending that to your home but again they don't say anything about like you have to collect that before leaving nothing like that C will be enclosed with other documents they did not mention like that because they said certain documents for example may have to be retained may have to be retained again so will be enclosed means it will be no matter what and may means it might be so there is a possibility there is a probability that it might not be sent with the other documents so C is clearly not the answer let's see D may be held by your coach driver and our para says may have to be retained and your driver so retained your driver will then issue them to you so it will be with your driver and they will be issuing that to you when you arrive a specific destination and for that reason that specific reason it will be answer d for question 10. let's move to the next question that is if you need a special diet you should option a inform the hotel when you arrive b pay extra with the booking c tell the coach company d book tourist class so for this where are we getting the part of hotel let's go back to the passage so i can see the next para here it says something about special diets and the question is about special diet too so if you require a special diet you must inform us again there are confusions between students that inform us they are not saying anything specific that they should be telling the hotel or whom they should be telling who is us here whenever you have doubts like that when they are referring to something in general like us me like that just check the passage like the what is the title it is about a classic tour and it is about coach break information so it is basically about a company like an organization who is arranging all those tours so again if you see anything like us any kind of reference it might be in the title that you can check who it has been referred to or in the first para basically that reference can come from so for this one us that is in here it is the traveling company or the coach company let's see what is the option like what are the options a inform the hotel when you arrive nope b pay extra with the booking we did not get to that part now c tell the coach company yeah that was what was mentioned over there informing us 
and the book tourist class never mentioned so it will be c for that reason let's move to the next question it may be necessary to pay extra for a a bathroom b both tickets c additional luggage d entertainment let's move back to the passage and see what they have said about additional payments and whenever you are doing that you say pay extra pay extra additional payments additional charges those can be all of the vocabularies that you can find in the passage in the passage what i can see at a glance is supplementary charge so supplementary charge is the pay extra that is the thing let's see what it says many of our coach breaks now include within the price accommodation with private facilities so private facilities they are talking about in here and about the other coach breaks that they have limited number of rooms with that private facilities that is also subject to availability and can be reserved and guaranteed at the time group booking the supplementary charge shown so yeah they are talking about the additional price or the additional charge the fee shown in the price panel will be added to your account let's move back to the question so we saw something like private facilities and what can be in the private facilities do you think it can be a bathroom both tickets additional luggage or entertainment both tickets are not private facilities to be honest because they fall whenever you're trying to see something it is part of an entertainment or whenever you're visiting something part of an entertainment like you're going to a tour and you're going by a boat that's a mode of transportation it can be a transportation but not a private facility additional luggage it may not be private facility because that is totally a different group that i would say with luggage because luggage belongings that is in a different category entertainment is not kind of a private facility bathroom yeah bathroom can be a private facility because you might not be interested in sharing the bathroom with people like other people when you're traveling somewhere so you want a bathroom for yourself but do you want like go in a trip and there is a boat journey or a boat ride you don't want to go to the boat with different kind of people you want to have that boat for yourself only this is something we don't do usually or even with the additional luggage that you don't want to share that space with somebody else with entertainment i don't think that happens but with bathroom you don't want to go to a bathroom with somebody else like that like sharing a bathroom most people like to stay hygienic and that's the reason they like to have their own private facilities and that's what they mean by a bathroom over there so for the next question entertainment is available let's move back to the passage and see where they are speaking about entertainment it will be here we can see entertainment written in bold so let's see some of our hotels are range so hotels are range additional entertainment which could include music dancing film shows etc and you can see in the next line that they are talking about when and how it will be happening it is said that at the discretion of the hotel so whenever the hotel wants they will do that like the frequency and the nature will be just on the hotel's end like they will decide it and therefore not guaranteed so there is nothing like i promise that there will be one but it is up to me if i want to let you see something or not just like that that's how the hotel is doing and they also say that if there is a lack of demand they might cancel that or withdraw that so in the question entertainment is available at all hotels they never say anything like that if there is a demand there was something said about the demand that is lack of demand that we just saw in here that lack of demand so upon request 
did we see anything like that i did not see anything with the request for an additional cost i did not see that either but they said something about demand so let's move back and see if there is a lack of demand or insufficient members in the hotel it would be withdrawn so that's kind of a double negation you can see like lack of demand withdrawn so let's try to change that to their antonyms like opposite form so if there is a demand they will not be withdrawn so they will be shown if there is a demand so that will be the answer also that b if there is a demand they will be having that entertainment facility 14th with every booking classic tours guarantee you will be able to option a request high quality meals option b take hand luggage on the coach c use your personal bathroom d see a film if you want to wow nice <laughs> let's move back to the para and see where they are saying anything regarding with every booking what is the company guaranteeing so is there anything with every booking i don't see with every booking in this para no they were talking about supplementary charge special diets did they say anything about that every time you are booking they did not say anything like that travel documents nope seat allocation nope luggage so let's see what they are saying we ask you to keep luggage down to one medium size suitcase per person but a small hold all can also be taken on the board on board sorry taken on board the coach so again what are they saying in every booking you are getting they ask us to carry like keep one luggage to one medium size suitcase but we can carry a handbag in the coach like on the coach whenever we are on board we can do that and that's what is like applicable to every single booking because request high quality meals they are saying about special diets not high quality meals and special diets are not high quality meals they are just exclusions of some specific food items from the normal diet take hand luggage on the coach yes they said something about hold all see use your own personal bathroom they did not say about anything like that they said that there will be a supplementary charge if you are booking a room that does not have a bathroom and blah 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 so not this one too see a film if you want they said that if there is a demand only they will be showing you a film so nope not for that too and then b is the clear cut reason why you are choosing like take hand luggage on the coach